In this video, you will see how to create this beautiful dogwood-inspired quinceanera cake. The gum paste dogwood flowers are simple to make and look almost like the real thing. Hi, it's Lorelai. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time, welcome to Wedding Cakes for You Cake Tutorials. If you want to build your skills and confidence to create beautiful cakes and memories, subscribe and ring the bell. Start by rolling out a ball of gum paste very thin. Cut the flower shapes. You can make your own gum paste. You can buy it pre-made or do what I did and add Tylos powder to fondant. The links are below. Next step is to use your flower impression mat and foam pieces and your finger pressure to create the veins for the petals. Using a ball tool, thin the edges of each petal. You can use muffin tins with tissue or cotton balls to dry them. You can also use these special cups by Wilton. Oh, and don't forget to pinch the petals to create some movement. I almost forgot to tell you that part. Let the dogwood flowers dry overnight. Make the centers next from moss green gum paste. Dust them with a little lime green petal dust. And then once the flowers are dry, you can dab the centers with a little bit of water and place them on the flowers. Next, cut the leaves and do the same as you did with the centers, as far as dusting with the petal dust, and let those dry. All the tools that, are, that I'm using in this video are in my Amazon shop for you, and I will leave a link for you below, as well as a list for the products. While all that is drying, bake, fill, and crumb coat your cakes. This is a 1296, and it's my most popular best-selling cake flavor. It's orange butter cake with white chocolate buttercream and raspberries. You can find the recipes in my book already multiplied for you. It's on Amazon. The cakes are being frosted with my Italian meringue buttercream frosting recipe. If you're frustrated with buttercream and not sure which one is best for what or how to smooth it, check out my buttercream masterclass. I'll put the link below for you.
You can put fabric ribbon directly onto a cold buttercream cake. I used two layers of ribbon, one solid and one sheer. A little dab of buttercream holds the ribbon together. To finish the dogwood blossoms, use a combination of pink and brown petal dust on the tips of each petal. Of course, you could also make dogwoods in pink. No need for wires or toothpicks, they go on with a dab of buttercream and because they are very light, they will stay in place. I love texture, so that can be done with a smattering of sprinkles and some piping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to join me on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. I do a live every Wednesday right here on YouTube.